As we reported last night, it's first meeting since the shutdown of the Salem EMS. Salem City Council voted to rescind that vote. 12 News, Barbara Ron has been following the story since the beginning, and she joins us now here in the studio. So, Barbara, where does uh, this vote now leave the EMS employees? Don, Eric, Salem EMS employees were left in shock last week when they found out through media coverage they no longer had jobs. And many of them were in attendance in last night's meeting and one former employee we spoke to let us know what his plans are when Salem EMS resumes operations. I feel like history has been made and I know that a lot more things are going to take place and this is going to be a process. But um, I'm looking forward to hopefully coming back and serving the community once again. When I spoke to two Salem City Council members today, they said they were unaware of many of the issues EMS Salem employees were facing, like not having access to gas cards and having to wait for state police to help out. Council members said they are not allowed to interfere with day-to-day -day operations, and all of that information is done through the city manager, whom they say did not inform them of these conditions, and now know them as the EMS staff are not employees at this time. There will be an emergency meeting tomorrow night at City Hall at 6.30 p.m. for City Council to discuss how to make the program work, with council members telling me they would like to see it up and running as soon as possible. 12 News will continue to bring you the latest on this developing story. Live in the studio, Barbara Vaughn, 12 News.